How is everybody doing today? I am the Console King, and I need to make a video on something that I just can't fucking wrap my head around. And honestly, it's really fucking pissing me off, this whole thing. I'm really fucking pissed, to tell you the truth. So, what do we have here? We have Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I know it's hard to see on the camera. Um, let me see if I could make it clearer. No, it still looks like shit. Whatever. I don't, I don't give a fuck. If you don't like it, then you can fuck off. I don't really care. Honestly. Um, so, you can pretty much get what the fuck's going on here, though. So, look. I got Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on my queue list for my downloads. The reason why I'm downloading this game again is because, well, I don't like the fucking game at all. I'm gonna make that clear. Like, Black Ops 3 was okay, honestly. But it wasn't that amazing, and that's why I uninstalled the game in the fucking first place. Uh, but the reason why I decided to reinstall the game is because my friend wants to play the game with me. And I have no games that I play with him right now because I uninstalled Call of Duty uh, Call of Duty 4. I uninstalled that shit because it's AIDS with the paid DLC bullshit. And, you know, Infinite Warfare just speaks for itself. So these are all the games I uninstalled, just in case you're interested in knowing. Uh, I didn't uninstall too many games, just games that just, you know, took up space in my library. This is my current library, by the way. Um, I play Fallout 4 still. I don't really play Skyrim that much anymore. Uh, I don't really play too much games anymore, actually. And that's, you know, I'm going to address that in a future video, actually. But let's take a look at the reason why I'm making a video and the reason why I'm rambling on about this shit. So I got Call of Duty Black Ops 3 in my queue. And I'm sure something you can notice is that the installation was stopped. 828 megabytes out of 64 gigs. I didn't pause the installation. That was not my doing. But this is what happens when I try to install it again. So, it's just, so this is something I don't fucking understand, okay? So how come when you have a disc in the, in the, in the, in the thing, you know, right here, that it just doesn't, so since, if you have a disc, the game installs to your high, hard drive anyway, even if you own a disc, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So how come when, uh, let's see if it actually happens. Because it takes a while. Because um, I recorded a video of this last time and it took it like a few minutes for it to fucking happen. But basically what happens, okay? I'll talk, I'll tell you what fucking happens before I, um, you know, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what's, what's going to happen. What's going to happen is that it's going to, the installation is going to stop because it can't read the disc. The disc is dirty or damaged, is what it says. So, how does that make any fucking sense? You need to install... First of all, it re, it knows what, I'm fucking, what I fucking have in the disc, okay? It knows what I have. Obviously, it says Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 3 is the disc that I have in. And since you have to install the fucking thing to your hard drive anyway, why can't they just fucking install to my hard drive, and why does it matter if the disc is dirty or damaged or whatever the fuck? That makes no fucking sense at all. I don't understand this shit at all, honestly. It makes no fucking sense, and it's really pissing me off, to tell you the truth. Because if I have a disc of a game, and it's dirty or fucked up or damaged or whatever, why should it matter in 2017? Because in 2007 or 2006, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, whatever the fuck, basically what happened, if, if the disc was fucked up, it, made, it only made sense for the disc to not uh, for the game to not run. Because most of the shit that, you know, mo the game was in the disc back in the day. Now, these days, the game's not in the disc. It's part of it's in the disc, but most of it you have to install to your fucking hard drive. Which, again, is annoying, but it is what it is. You know, the game's so big that it can't fit in the disc. That's just what fucking happens. What can you do about that? But, so, yeah, as you can see, it's still 828 megabytes and it keeps, it, it's not going. It's not going at all. And the reason why that's not going is because of what I said. It, it's, it, I got a notification before I recorded the video saying, oh yeah, your disc is dirty or damaged. And I keep, I keep trying to reinstall. I, I keep trying to um, continue the installation. Like, look, installation stopped. I didn't even touch anything. And it keeps doing it. I keep trying to install again, and it doesn't install shit. It's still at 828 megabytes from the beginning of the video. So let's take a look at the disk. Uh, see 
why it's such a problem, just in case anyone wants to know about that. Uh, yeah. So let's see, what's wrong here? Uh, yeah, so we got this thing over here. I don't know how the fuck this happened, but it happened. It is what it is. Um, but it got fucked up somehow. I don't know if that's like a burn or what the fuck it is, but somehow the disc got screwed up. I don't know how. I always keep my disc inside the fucking tray all the fucking time, but whatever. Uh, so for s this game is unplayable because my disc is fucked up, even though discs are installed in your hard drive anyway. So what the fuck is the difference? And they can read the fucking game. It's not like they can't read it. If the, if the disc couldn't be read, then I wouldn't be so fucking pissed. But this makes no fucking sense at all. Literally no fucking sense. So now I can never, I probably never be able to play this game again until I keep, I guess I'm gonna have to keep pausing and re, you know, until it reaches 64 gigabytes because at first it, it only stopped, it stopped at like, uh, ki like 12 kilobytes and didn't even go beyond that but now it's like you know starting to go and go and go and go and go but this makes no fucking sense if your disc is fucked up why doesn't it just be like okay we can read the disc and we'll install the game to your hard drive that's what they're doing anyway when when you put a disc in it installs into your hard drive so why can't it be like okay we have the disc we're going to install it into your hard drive even if the disk is fucked up. The only reason why, like, it's reasonable to have the disk in the thing in order for it to work, obviously, because, you know, to prove that you own the license to the game. But this whole thing makes no fucking sense. So, honestly, video games in general suck. Uh, gaming is shit, and this is part of the reason why. I plan on making a video dedicated to why gaming is shit. But this is just part of the reason. Bullshit like this happens all the fucking time. All of the fucking time bullshit like this is always going on. And it sucks ass. But what can you do about it? It's just, uh, it, it's terrible. I don't know why the fuck this is, this is how it works. Why the fuck it won't work. Because the disc is, like, slightly damaged. Even though, like, it's, you know, it looks like, you know, it doesn't look terrible. You know, it's not like it has the rings around the disc or whatever. But part of it is fucked up. And honestly, I have no idea how it fucking happened, but it happened. And shit fucking happened. So why is... I just don't get it. I'm just gonna end the video here. Fuck this bullshit. Fuck you, Microsoft. Fuck, 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 fuck everyone. Fuck everything.